Good morning, John Glenn, and today is Friday, October 7, 2022. I'm Aubrey, and this is a view from the Falcon's Nest. Today, Mr. Thomas is here from the Walkerton Historical Society to talk about Sunday's annual live history program at the cemetery. John Glenn Drama students will be taking part in the hour-long program at 4 p.m. Welcome, Mr. Thomas. Can you tell us a little bit about the program and also the Historical Society's new building? Yes, the Historical Society uh, every year gives a cemetery walk, and we portray people that uh, have been from the area that's influential in Walkerton's history. Uh, we're doing uh, seven different people, uh, among which uh, a, a teacher, Mrs. Gutwin. So if your grandparents graduated from Walkerton High School, they probably had Mrs. Gutwin as a teacher. Um, we're doing uh, the uh, man that owned the grain elevator, which at the time was the largest grain elevator in northern Indiana, uh, B.I. Holzer. Uh, we're doing uh, a man, Silas George, who uh, we think might have been a Confederate soldier. In fact, there are five Confederate soldiers buried in, uh, in Woodlawn Cemetery. The question is, was it a case of uh, mistaken identity, or was he really a Confederate? Uh, we uh, would like to thank the, uh, the John Glenn students for helping us out. We have five this year. Uh, Audrey, as you know, we had three last year because you were one of them. And uh, we would like to have you all come out. It's free. Uh, learn about the history of Walkerton. Uh, we've got other things coming in from the Historical Society. Uh, November, we're having uh, Prohibition and the Walkerton in the 1920s. Uh, in uh, next spring, we're having uh, the auto industry in Walkerton or in the in Indi Indiana. And we're having those are exhibits from the Indiana State Historical Society. So all come out. Uh, we'd love to have you. It's at the uh, cemetery by the flagpole, four o'clock Sunday. Hope to see you there. Thank you, Mr. Thomas, for coming in today, and good luck on your cemetery walk. There will be a Chinese club meeting on Tuesday, October 11th in the auditorium during SRT. We will be discussing the future activities and a possible field trip. Attention. Upperclassmen, if you are registered to vote in the upcoming November election, you may be able to vote before Election Day, after school, or on Saturdays. Check with your county clerk's vo voter registration office in Laporte, Marshall, or St. Joseph counties to find out the location and times available for early voting. Seniors and any early graduates, Jostens will be here on Thursday, October 13th during SRT Schles Homeroom to kick off the ordering of caps and gowns and senior products. Orders will be taken in person on Thursday, October 20th during lunches. Anyone participating in our graduation ceremony in May will be required to wear the appropriate cab and gown. So this meeting is very important. Please mark your calendars. Are you or someone you know looking to replace a bed in your home? Now is the time. John Glenn Band and Choir are excited to announce that they will be hosting a one-day mattress fundraiser on Saturday, October 22nd from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. There will be over 25 beds on display for customers to try. The brand name mattresses are made to order, have full factory warranties, and are available in all sizes and are priced below retail. In addition to beds, there will be luxurious pillows and even adjustable power bases. Delivery and financing is available. And here's the weather with Caleb. So, today's cold. I'm just going to preface this right now, it's cold. Uh, 55 degrees specifically. Uh, it's going to be rainy. It's really going to feel like 73, but it's going to actually be 55. And the wind speed's uh, southwest about 6 miles an hour. Now, moving into the weekend, Saturday it's going to be 58 degrees, very cloudy, low 36, so definitely dress warm. Um, Sunday is mostly the same. Um, the high increases to 66 and the low increases to 43. But it's still going to be cloudy with barely any sun. Now, thankfully, Monday is going to be different. High of 69, low of 44, here comes the sun. Now to sports with Nathan. Glen Girls Soccer advanced to the sectional final on Saturday at 2 o'clock after beating Jimtown 4-1 on Thursday evening. The first goal was scored by Hannah Thomas with an assist from Logan Ritchie. The second goal was scored by Anna Shue after Logan Ritchie flicked the ball forward for Anna to get a beautiful shot. A third goal was scored by Thomas and was a great shot from 30 yards out. 
and the fourth goal was scored after Laney Day sent a long ball from midfield to Shue, who finished with a beautiful left foot shot from 20 yards. The Falcon Esports Super Smash team competed on Wednesday in a very competitive match against Rossville High School. The game ended in, in a tie with both teams winning one match each. The night's standout player was Zayden Geds, who, who had an, to eliminate three of the four opposing players to pull out a victory for the team in the opening round. All players saw game action, so thank you to Canyon King, Gage Messias, Jasper Kelms, Caden, er, Zayden Geds, Matty Gross, Gage Pennington, and Alec Hathaway for playing. For a later date, that is to be determined. Now here's a lunch with Caleb. All right. So for lunch today, we're going to be having some jalapeno cheese bites, or jalapeno cheese bites, depends on how you decide. Um, we're going to be having stromboli, chef salad, peanut butter and jelly, variety of fresh fruit, uh, tortilla chips, as it says uh, right down there. That's all we have for today, Falcons. Have an amazing day.